Welcome everybody. Look at these two awesome trucks. Why they are awesome? It's the e actros and here the e iconic Reality is here. We are charged and ready. Please come with me. I will explain the features of these awesome trucks for you. So, hey guys, one thing is really unique with this truck and this is our own developed e axle What is the difference from an e axle to a solution our competitors are using? We have no shaft, we have no gearbox, everything in one part and this is called the e axle and this is really unique and this e axle is uh, able to deliver an output of 330 kilowatts in continuous and uh, 400 kilowatts as a peak power and this is really amazing and now come with me to the truck I will show you in detail you all know the safety systems from the diesel trucks and all these safety systems you know we have at the e-trucks as well but there are additional things we have to care about and this the battery for example we have to protect the batteries against an impact from outside means whenever there is a crash we have so-called crash elements installed here and they are very robust and very massive so whenever there is a crash from the side the batteries are protected and whenever the impact is too high so that the crash elements are not able to protect the battery then there are sensors behind this crash element and whenever they detect a really harsh impact then these sensors are able to disconnect the high voltage batteries from the rest of the system so that all the components which are usually connected to the battery are safe and that nothing can destroy. Here you can see our new e-axle and with this axle we are using a well-known product from the diesel trucks because the housing of this e-axle is completely the same. Then we took two e-motors in front of the uh, housing of the e-axle including a two-speed transmission and due to that we are very efficient because in comparison to uh, a conventional powertrain we have less parts which are involved in the whole process and therefore we are very very efficient. Efficient means we need less power and power is the keyword. We need the power and where do we store the power and how comes this power into our batteries and the batteries are directly there. Here in that case we have installed three big battery packs and these battery packs you can see here a big 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 battery pack above the whole width of the truck. So you can imagine that these battery packs are able to store a huge amount of energy and you are right we are charging these batteries with a DC charger up to 160 kilowatts if it's available. I know this is a challenge. Not always we have such big amount of energy, but the truck is able to be charged with 160 kilowatts. Here you can see an additional part of this truck. It's called an inverter. In the battery, we stored direct current but the engine runs with alternating current and therefore we need this inverter. Within this inverter, the direct current from the battery will convert it into alternating current and then we can run our engine with. Sounds simple, but it's a little bit complex. There is also an opposite way. When I want to reduce the speed of this truck, I can use a function called recuperation. You can compare it a little bit with the engine brake of a diesel truck. And the, the way to use is exactly the same for the driver. You, the driver has a lever in the, in the dash right to the steering wheel. This lever can be used within five stages. And with these five stages, you are controlling the recuperation. So that means when the driver uses this lever, the energy from the engine flows back 
into the battery. And then there are two effects. The first effect is the truck reduces the speed. This is the main thing which is important for the driver. But in addition to that, we create energy, or not we. The motor creates the energy and the energy flows back into the battery. That means the more the driver is able to use the recuperation, the more he extends the range. And this is very important for many, many of our customers that the range is as big. You all know Mercedes-Benz stands for safety. And therefore, it's very important to know all the safety features and all the safety systems you know from the diesel trucks are available with this e-trucks as well. So, you know the systems and you can trust on the system also with an e-truck. If there is an additional issue which could happen inside the battery, therefore we have also some sensors. You can see it here directly at the battery and this sensor is able to detect such an issue and give a warning inside the cabin. Because when we have a problem in the battery, the driver is not able to hear it, not able to see it, not able to smell it, nothing. And therefore it's important that the driver gets an information in the cabin so that the driver is able to disconnect the high voltage batteries from the rest of the parts as well by using a button in the dash. When we're talking about safety, we are not only thinking for safety for the truck, we are always talking for the safety for other road users. And therefore, we have an additional system. It's called AVAS, Acoustic Vehicle Alerting System. That means, due to that, that this truck is very silent, you hear almost nothing, especially when the truck is moving very slow. And here we create a sound that all other road users, pedestrians, cyclists, children playing uh, at the edge of the road, that they are able to detect a truck uh, before it comes to an accident. You can see this is a real safe truck and there is no difference to the diesel trucks and you can trust in this, this truck. So come on, be interested, be curious. It's a brilliant truck. <laughs>